We're going mobile, which can only mean one thing. Well, actually, it can mean a lot of things. But today it means Mother and Bookshelf Tour. Oh, yeah. camera which I have never used which means if you're seeing this footage my seven years of bad luck with technology has finally ended so here is an overview of my entire bookshelf you should know that my Harry Potter and Hunger Games books are upstairs in the family library so I got all the books they didn't want such as Twilight up here we have a pig with a mustache very nice. Then we have some to be read books that I have recently bought. So we have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. We have The Secret Life of Cece Wilkes by D Diana Chamberlain. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. The Portable Dorothy Parker. And my entire collection of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And Icons, in Intimate Portraits by Denise Worrell. We have my new set of Twilight books by Stephanie Meyer. And then we have some library books. Okay, now we can get down to this level so my arm doesn't hurt so much. This is also books I have yet to read. There are a lot of them <laughs> okay first we have these pretty adorable copies of the wizard of oh the wizard of oz sherlock holmes and dr jekyll and mr hyde these are children's classics so they're you know children's and Okay, up here we have books that I am currently reading, which is Belong to Me by Marissa De Los Santos and The Woman Who Swallowed Her Cat by Something Myers and also my Kindle Fire. Down here we have Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger. And then we have My Girl 2 by, who is it by? Patricia Herms, yes. My Girl too. Okay. Then Destiny's Road by Larry Nevin. 2012 by Whitley Strieber. I'm horrible at names, I'm sorry. Year's Best Sci-Fi 14 by a bunch of people. We're gonna switch hands here. Spin by Robert Charles Wilson. And now over here we also have some unread books. So we have Bud Not Buddy by Kristen Paul Curtis. Christopher Paul Curtis, you are a guy. The Tales of Despero by Kate DeCamillo. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Pride and Prejudice in Zombies by Seth Graham Smith and Jane Austen. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Oscar Wilde and a Death of No Importance by Giles Branderth. I have no idea. The Garden and Sea Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Bowers. My pronunciation is just terrible today. Then we have The Maze Runner by James Dashner. The Last Summer of You and Me by Ann Brashers. The Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. Dewey by Vicky Myron, Marley and Me by John Grogan, No Margins by a lot of people, Son of a Witch by uh, Gregory Maguire, and then we have some cute books who um, have no title, 
and also no author. This is, is life a bowl of cherries and what am I doing in the pits? By something born back. <laughs> There's no title there. Then down here is also my red books. So we have Love Story by Eric Siegel. The first in the Dean Coots um, Frankenstein series, which is Prodigy, Prodigal Son. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Love Walked In by Marissa De Los Santos. Um, the Fantastic Beats and Beasts and Where to Find Them. I assume this is by J.K. Rowling. The Other Wes Moore by Wes Moore. My Boyfriend Wrote a Book About Me by Hilary Winston. Please don't read that book. And then we have my John Green collection. So we have An Abundance of Catherines. Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, and Let It Snow by Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. And then we have Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Then we have my Chris Colfer collection, which is The First Land of Stories by Chris Colfer and Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer. Then we have Ash by Melinda Lowe, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series by Ann Brashers. A Little Bit Wicked by Kristen Chenoweth, The Help by Katherine Stokett, and The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And then over here we get into my Alice in Wonderland collection. So we have the first two in the Looking Glass Wars by, um, what's your name? What's your name? I don't know. Frank Bedore? And then we have some Alice in Wonderland comics here the um, Beyond Wonderland series and Tales in Wonderland and Tales from Wonderland. Then we have an actual Alice in Wonderland comic. And then we have some coloring books and a journal and a picture book. And then we have my two copies of Alice in Wonderland. Now down here we get, we start to get into my miscellaneous books, but right here is my plays and other theater techniques kind of books. And so we have Othello, oh that is Upside Down by William Shakespeare, Well by Lisa Korn, Cron, Lisa Cron. Clyborne Park by Bruce Norris. We have both parts of Angels in America by Tony Kushner. And Ruined by Lynn Nottage. American Political Plays After 9-11 by a lot of people. Theater for Community Conflict and Dialogue by Michael Robed. And then we have a writing prompt book, If Questions for the Game of Life. And then down here we get into more theater things and also writing. So we have Games for Actors and Non-Actors by Augusto Bo Bo Bowell, The Writer's Path, um, Hit Me With the Music, which is a music book. Um, Great Source 2000, Applied Theater, um, What Would Your Characters Do, The Screenwriter's Workshop by Sin Field, Robert's Rule of Writing, No Plot, No Problem by the NaNoWriMo people, The Elements of Fucking Style by Chris Baker and Jacob Hansen, which is one of my favorite writing books, um, and then we have a dictionary. And over here we get into my poems and more miscellaneous books. We have a big music reader. And we have Revolution on the Canvas Volume 1 by a lot of people. The best love poems of the American people. 
And then we get into miscellaneous. We have the Book of Useless Information. And Rule of Thumb. Bad Cat, which is my most loved book in my entire bookshelf. And 30 Second Mysteries. And then down on the last shelf, we have just all the miscellaneous. We have my very tiny comic book collection. So we have my Doctor Who and some Batman and Robin. Then we have things like Generation T, which is how to make t-shirts. Dear Mr. Potter, which is great. The Idiot's Guide to Pilates. The Digital Photography for Dummies. Some creative photography. Journaling, journaling, journaling. And then we get into the fairy tales. I have the Disney's Treasury of Children's Classics. Um, the 16th edition of the Wonderful World of Knowledge. Um, 50 Famous Fairy Tales. Um, Mother Goose. Snow White is in here somewhere. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Mark Twain's The Celebrated Jumping Frog and Other Stories. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz pop-up book. I Wish I Wish. Um, Grover's Book of Cuddly Little Baby Animals. Some more fairy tales. Mary Poppins. And then yearbooks. Um, a coloring book and a book I made for class. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and putting up with my shaky camera work. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.